uh, and if you're really good at negotiation it could go as high as to 25 so that was my experience from you know non tech background to my first job as an analyst and realize that like people from non tech backgrounds are also getting these type of roles and so if we were mentioning uh, data structure and algorithms and i kept on applying and sharing my resume to all these recruiters and hiring managers hey everyone welcome back to learning bridge i hope you guys are doing good and staying safe so i am back with another amazing video for the aspiring data professionals and my lovely data community but before starting the video thank you thank you so much finally we have achieved the biggest milestone which is 100k subscriber and this journey was not possible without you so thank you thank you so much for all the love and support and i need your blessings for such kind of more and more big milestones so keep on loving this channel keep on supporting and thank you again for showing trust in my content and in this podcast i will be having a conversation with rajesh and he is working as a business analyst at inmobi one of the finest companies nowadays to work for and why his journey and his story worth listening because he is also a recent grad graduate like 2021 that too from the industrial engineering branch so completely non tech non cs and he got a job as a fresher that too for the business analyst profile and lots of people find it very difficult and even the package part is also which is very very catchy so he will share everything the entire interview process for the inmobi specifically for the business analyst role the road map his experience what all things you need to cover what all things you need to prepare for the interviews and also the salary part the important resources the guidance and how non tech people can move into this business analyst profile and who should actually choose it so make sure you watch this podcast till the very end super informative for all the beginners who want to move into the business analyst domain all right so thank you so much rajesh for joining me on my podcast and again i am really excited and I know you guys are also excited because this podcast is going to about the business analyst profile. So Rajesh, it would be really great if you can introduce yourself to the audience a little bit about your academic and professional background. Thank you Sasan first of all for having me in your podcast. And uh, yeah, a little bit about myself would be I graduated from a Birla Institute of Technology with industrial engineering. Mm-hmm. Then I started working as a data analyst in decision tree analytics and private limited after which I shifted to Inmobi and currently working as a business analyst. So you can see someone exactly coming from non-tech and completely non-CS background. So this one is gonna be really helpful for all the folks who are fresher because he also graduated into 2021. You graduated 2021 industrial engineering branch, completely non-CS, non-tech. So how did you choose business analyst as a career profile like during your college how did you explore it and also how did you get your first job in the data analytics world yeah sure sasan so first of all in our college we had a chance to work with jds associates mm-hmm. which was a case study challenge where i was introduced to the world of data and analytical roles and i started exploring through linkedin and different youtube videos like mm-hmm. what is the role and what skills are required and mm-hmm. realize that like people from non tech backgrounds are also getting these type of roles and can work in different companies as analyst mm-hmm. now getting the first role was a bit difficult obviously but it's about perseverance so i started you know reaching out to hiring managers and recruiters on linkedin mm-hmm. and letting them know my interest in the field and i kept on applying and sharing my resume to all these recruiters and hiring managers and fortunately one recruiter showed faith in me and uh, gave me a chance i gave the interview and it was all about you know, your numerical ability analytical skills and bit of sql and after that i got my first role so that was my experience from you know non tech background to my first job as an analyst so this is the true motivation right uh you can get these kind of opportunities just be active and be dedicated for your goals so really interesting rajesh and let me know guys in the comment section what do you think uh in this data analytics world uh who is preferred more or let's say non tech people are more moving into the data profiles or pure cs or it folks are moving into the data world do you struggle to speak english fluently do you not feel confident around the people who speak english really well or are you simply looking for the tips that can help you to learn a new language efficiently then cambly can solve this problem for you cambly is the only app in the india which provides one to one 
private english classes with tutors from the usa canada and uk it is especially very useful for those who know how to read and write but struggle speaking english confidently on cambly app you can choose these lessons and classes for different courses like business english personality development ielts etc and the best part of the cambly app that its tutors are very friendly and supportive and they will help you to improve your weak areas without any judgment and on the platform itself you will find different different tutors from different geographic location you can watch their profiles and decide which tutor you want to pick and you can take classes from it you can download cambly app from anywhere and start practicing english in one to one classes with native speakers and if you will use a special link which i have provided in the description and coupon code elb29 then you can get a trial class with a tutor in just rupees 29 instead of 99 rupees so hurry up download the cambly app and avail this offer you would have received these queries that uh, we want to move into the data but there are different job profiles and we don't know about what they actually do right we don't know about their uh, roles and responsibilities so on the same note what is the day to day activity of a business analyst what they actually do in a company and most important is it a technical role or if there is any kind of gap in the information yeah first of all to clear the suspense among the viewers it's a technical role because mm-hmm. the you know as an analyst you are working with the data so it's mm-hmm. not just you know number crunching in excel but it we use technical tools like sql tableau to understand those data Mm-hmm. so how the day to day work looks like for an analyst so it starts basically understanding the stakeholders requests so as an analyst we don't create any product like software engineers do or anything mm-hmm. so we want to provide insights to our stakeholders so first the main thing is getting the you know task from the stakeholder okay what do you want and how can we make your insight analysis better mm-hmm. once we understand that we start getting the data and crunching it using excel or sql and once we see the patterns like as per the stakeholders request and the problem statement we convert that into a visualization through dashboard or google data studio and again revert back to the stakeholder so this communication with the stakeholder is very important as the first thing because you want to understand the problem statement in the first go yeah. and then solve it using numbers and i think our audience would be happy who actually want to do some technical stuff so yes business analyst is a technical profile since you are working in right one of the finest companies nowadays in bobi right and so it would be really great if you can share yeah. that complete interview process of in mobi for the business analyst role that would be really helpful for the audience uh, who so are preparing for the good companies so like how many rounds were there and uh, in each round what kind of things those interviewers were focusing on sure sir so in excluding the so calling with the hr there are three rounds that were performed mm-hmm. and uh, all were technical rounds so okay. the first round was pure understanding of your past experience and uh, asking technical questions from the sql mm-hmm. and after you clear the after you qualify the first round your second round is also based on sql but they also you know uh, understand your analytical skills by asking your business case study so your mm-hmm. business case study could be anything from you know uh, letting them know uh, if if a company is facing loss for a definite product how would you tackle that like mm-hmm. uh, what would be your strategy so in this type of you know scenarios it's very important like you know you ask questions from your end because you can't just make assumptions and give an answer to the interviewer right so you need to have data about like what is the product like what is the what are the reason they're focusing on and stuff like that mm-hmm. and once that is over the third round or the final round is with the hiring manager so that is more mm-hmm. uh, also towards the technical side understanding like you know about your past experience uh, questions from sql like it could be from window function uh it could be around like you know solving uh, problems that you might have seen in hacker rank or lead code and along with that also another business case study that they ask which is related to the company itself mm-hmm. like the department that you will be working with so it's a business case study related to that so they will see that how fit you are for that role very much helpful but i have few follow up questions so first you mentioned about the sql so what was the level difficulty level of these questions and any important four five topics you would like to highlight in the sql part sure so the difficulty level would be easy to medium uh definitely i have not like you know faced very hard questions where we use nested loops to solve sql uh, problem statements mm-hmm. like we see in lit code hard uh, part uh, mm-hmm. and in terms of topics that one should focus on is first uh, without a doubt it's windows functions yeah uh, the second thing is like you know use of case statements mm-hmm. uh 
and the third thing is understanding how the uh, it's a very theoretical question but i have been asked this a lot mm-hmm. like in, in a, a sql query which includes uh, select from what is the role in which they start applying mm-hmm. when you run a query so mm-hmm. that's a theoretical concept everyone should know also you know multiple other questions which is very common is basically you know understanding what is union what is joins mm-hmm. so those are the things that you could find in different uh, google platforms and like gigs for gigs and other resources but yeah from the numerical standpoint of view i would suggest like you know focusing and understanding windows functions case when statements and the theoretical basic knowledge of sql since you were talking about the business case studies so how were you preparing for these kind of questions any dedicated platform or book did you follow for the same yeah so understanding the case study is basically your view point about everything you know uh, around you so mm-hmm. the, to get a grasp of the questions the first thing i did is that went through youtube and started searching for normal case study questions asked in management consultant interviews because that just okay. opens up your mind okay mm-hmm. so yeah the questions that are asked in mckinsey bain uh, pcg so they are very high level questions but it gives you a framework like how to approach a question what to think so that's very help that was very helpful to me and one last follow up question that would make our audience very happy so there was no coding round as such and there was no coding related question in any of the interview is it so if you if were mentioning uh, data structures and algorithms no yeah, we, yeah. Were, we were not asked related to dsa or any java questions mm-hmm. the technical question or the standpoint was sql only my audience is quite happy after hearing this yes dsa and that programming part is literally not required so amazing thanks so much uh rajesh at least for explaining this intro experience that is going to help a lot of people and you mention few important topics as well what are the required skill set to start someone's journey into this business analyst and how did you acquire these skill sets like any recommendation for the resources youtube channels or website or blogs yeah sure so first thing is obviously like getting your door into the interview so that mm-hmm. you know your, your your resume speaks it for itself mm-hmm. so having few certifications in uh, sql and tableau will help you at least to get the recruiter noticed because you will have those keywords and if possible create a portfolio and mm-hmm. add that to your inter- uh, resume the last thing would be uh, in terms of resources i would say very much focus on like you know solving sql questions like for software developers it's very important to solve dsa questions mm-hmm. for analyst it is very important that your sql is your bread and butter so yeah. you should have a very strong <laughs> grasp on that in terms of like uh, adding uh, technical skill sets i would say sql tableau uh, excel and in terms of excel i'm not just talking about your normal understanding of excel but rather pro- strong powerful functions like vlookup mm-hmm. lookup, x lookup and even better if you can get a grasp on the vba side of the excel part so that will help you in automation and you can speak about that and to the recruiter Mm-hmm. uh other than that yeah the last thing would be your communication skill that's a soft mm-hmm. skill but yeah that's also very important that you should focus on i have seen freshers uh, complaining that companies don't shortlist their profile because they want experienced people because in my experience i have seen freshers also getting hired but since you are the correct example you have cracked it uh, so what do you think about it whether it is true or not and what is the best possible way for the fresher to get a job into this data analytics world obviously the market is very competitive mm-hmm. the first thing is that like if, if you see around linkedin and search for analyst roles so you can find analyst from as experienced as like 8 plus years experience to as low as like freshers that they are hiring mm-hmm. so there is no sir way around like saying that as a fresher i won't be able to crack it but rather it is believing that if you keep on applying every day like at least 10 applications a day there will be one application that will get picked up and you will be given the chance you know to start your analytics career mm-hmm. so that's the that's the mindset that you should have you can't be thinking like okay i'll, I'll be applying to google or microsoft and i'll get picked up so better to you know apply to small companies startups uh keep on keep on applying that's that's all i can say i mean yeah it's it's difficult because it's a competitive market i understand that but mm-hmm. uh, if if you keep on applying to at least you know 10 to 12 applications every day somebody will take a chance on you because somebody took a chance on me so mm-hmm. that's what i can say from my experience no i completely agree and i like that point right where you mention everything about the attitude it depends on your attitude you have to be desperate about your things and obviously yeah. rejections will be there and 
uh, people won't be shortlisting your profiles, but that shouldn't demotivate you. How much salary someone can expect for the business analyst role in, in good companies like the Inmobi or uh, let's say Uber or these kind of companies, right, which are I know like they are paying really, really well, but I want to know your thoughts and opinions uh, so that we can put some stats and numbers in front of the audience and it will boost their confidence. So as a fresher, you can you know expect a CTC of somewhere around 15 to 20. So mm -hmm. uh, and if you're really good at negotiation, it could go as high as to 25. Like if you guys don't believe me when I quote such numbers, right? People tell me that your thumbnails are misleading. So no, they are literally not uh, because those numbers and ranges are coming from the folks who are actually cracked those roles. So obviously they are not lying in that part. So you need to trust me and you need to trust those words. So according to you, who should actually apply and target these kind of business analytics role? Because under the umbrella, there are lots of job profiles and choosing any particular job profile will depend on the interest as well. So since you somehow at at one phase of your life uh, you picked this analytics role so who should actually target these kind of job roles sure Sasan. um so basically for a person who really wants to understand the business side of the role or the team and also want to work on the technical aspect of like the data that the business team is looking at then that's the role that as an analyst you will be doing mm -hmm. so if, if sometimes like you get excited like you know you see numbers and you, you want to find patterns from it and you want to let a stakeholder know okay so this is how this is going you could make improvements on the basis of these insights mm -hmm. then yeah that's definitely the role for you and uh, so you don't need to worry about like having a very large uh, business base about everything but rather the interest to understand our business uh, problem statement when you are faced with one and i think that will clarify a lot of doubts right whosoever is watching this video and let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section as well whether your doubts are cleared or not and uh, honestly speaking i found this session really informative and thank you so much rajesh for joining us and sharing your wonderful experience with our audience uh sharing the in mobi interview experience and most important that journey right uh, motivating journey yeah. coming from non-tech and non-cs and cracking this kind of job role in good companies so really appreciate it and from my side and from the entire audience side thank you thank you so much yeah Thank you. So that's what I had for you guys in this podcast. I'm pretty sure you would have enjoyed this journey and also you would have taken all the important notes which are really important to become a business analyst based on Rajesh's journey. And if yes, and if you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up and share this video with your fellow friends and also subscribe the channel, press the notification icon. I will see you guys in the next week with another amazing podcast. Till then, just stay safe, stay home, take care yourself and your family too.